guys, welcome to the newest episode of BlizzPlanet.com's Week of Warcraft. Now, as always, I'm your host, the bearded gamer, Chris Arnone. Let's talk about last week's question first off. So we were wondering, you know, we sort of introduced Blizz Facts, something that uh, Eldorian's got going recently. So we were wondering if you have any interesting bits of information or trivia that you want to share about Blizzard or World of Warcraft. All right, let's check out your best answers. You know, we're going we're gonna to display these, you know, when we do these, uh, the, the best options uh, next week. But also, if you've got some really awesome, interesting facts and tidbits and trivia, we're actually going to talk about those on the show. And of course, you can follow Blizz Planet on Twitter and check out a lot of cool, nifty, uh, sort of 140 characters or less Blizz facts. Let's get into that weekly news roundup. Here's the beef. So it is finally upon us. On Tuesday, Mr. Pandaria is launching. Yes, the long-awaited Kung Fu Panda-ish expansion to World of Warcraft. I know you've all been looking forward to it greatly. Uh, so if you're looking to play right when the game launches, now you do need to pay attention to when the game is going to go live in your specific regions, all right? So North America and Latin America are going to go live 12 a.m. Pacific, September 25th. European realms go live 12 a.m. CEST on September 25th, and then Korea and Taiwan go live 12 a.m. KST September 27th. All right, there's a little difference there. Sorry, Asian players, you got to wait a couple extra days. But there's those times, so pay very close attention to that. Now, the appear offline option is coming to Battle.net. Now, this has been a long request, an oft requested. Uh, thing that people have been wanting, which is, you know, you want to get online and, and, and play a little of your game without your friends bugging you. And since Real ID came out a couple of years ago, and, and now with your uh, battle tag system, even more so, that sometimes you just want to get on and farm and, and play around a little bit without people coming to bug you and ask you to come into their game or come and save them in, in a dungeon. And so now, in the very near future, okay, it's not out yet, but they have said in the very near future they are adding an appear offline option in Battle.net so you can play in peace and quiet. So, let's talk about the Battle of Theramore. You know, we've been talking about this a lot on the show. Eldorian has had quite a bit to say, in fact. And we kind of made it out like it was sort of some big world launch event. Because that's kind of what we thought it was going to be, and turns out it, it it wasn't so much. And, you know, we've had these great world events in the past, like the zombie invasion, where you get infected and become a zombie, and then you can fight other PCs as a zombie and try to just, you know, spread the infection. That was a lot of fun. Also uh, with Cataclysm, there were the elemental battles, which people really enjoyed. And, and then with this, what, what it really comes down to is Blizzard did a poor job relaying the information that this was not a big world event. What it really came down to was about a 15-minute experience, and, and, and that was about it. And it, the, the forums, as you can imagine, were just ablaze with people complaining, complaining about this event that they thought was going to be much, much bigger. And Eldorian even wrote an article about all of this that happened and, and how this miscommunication occurred. Uh, and to be fair, you know, this wasn't supposed to be a world event. Let's put that right out there. Uh, Blizzard has now come out and said, you know, that's not what they were trying to make this to be. You know, they just communicated poorly uh, that that's not what it was supposed to be. And But there were these great ideas in the book that El, you know, Eldorian really enjoyed with Tides of War that went deep into this story with Garrosh attacking Theramore and his plan to just nuke Theramore. And, and all these characters were dying and uh, with all this stuff. But that really wasn't dug into that much in the actual 15-minute event that was there. And that's really what at least Eldorian was expecting. You had this great story that was told in this book, and you're really going to play off of that in some big world event, and that just didn't happen, and, and just a big miscommunication there. Uh, so when Eldorian interviewed Ghostcrawler recently, uh, he asked him about the feedback on this scenario, and... and Ghostcrawler basically said the same thing, that players were expecting a world event, and Blizzard didn't do a good job relaying the information. He also said that there's a weird balance between story and gameplay, uh, especially since scenarios are repeatable. So you, know, you don't want to be watching these big story things over and over again as you're repeating an event. So it's hard to strike a balance there. Um, 
So in the end, it, it does sound like Blizzard is listening to the players' complaints. There was a lot, a lot of issues with this event, and at least you know they're considering doing a big world event once again whenever the next expansion comes out, whenever that may be. So let's talk midnight launch events, all right? Mr. Pandaria coming down the pipe. Everybody's really excited. So of course the thing will go midnight live in at least most of your regions out there. So Blizzard is hosting some launch events around the world, and two of them will in fact be live streams. So one is going to be a digital launch event for Europe. Now this is going to include live stream events from Paris, London, Moscow, Madrid, Milan, Stockholm, and Cologne. Okay, it's going to start at 22.30 Paris time, so uh, leading lead right into that, and can be viewed on youtube.com slash warcraft. Now, for those on our side of the pond, all right, starting 9 a.m. Pacific, Chris Metzen's going to be on board doing an event in Irvine, California, of course, the home of Blizzard. Uh, and he's going to be fielding questions that are submitted through Twitter. So, you know, if you're watching that and enjoying that, you know, get on Twitter, throw some questions at him. Maybe Chris Metzen will answer them right there. Uh, Felicia Day is also going to be at this event, and there's going to be a show and a preview of the first episode of The Guild. All right, and Blizzard's going to have more information on these events as they unfold, so check out Blizzard or, of course, Blizz Planet to get more information on these. Now, <clears throat> Blizz Planet will, in fact, be out at the Irvine launch event. Our friend DJ Tyrant will be there and actually already has some interviews lined up to talk about Mr. Pandaria. A couple, in fact. Sen senior game producer Ray Kobo is going to be talking with him, and then lead encounter designer Ian Hezacostas. See how I did with that one. Probably butchered the, the crap out of that. Anyway, but let us know in the comments right here if you have any questions that you would like to be thrown out in those interviews. Let us know, and if we've got some good ones, of course, we'll inc include those in the inter interviews themselves. So, let's talk about something cool that some of you may have not known about. Now, this comes out of the recent interview that Eldorian did with Ghostcrawler, and they were talking about challenge modes in Mist of Pandaria. And I know we talked a lot of, about a lot of stuff in Mist of Pandaria, but we've never really hit on this, and it's not been getting a whole lot of buzz. But it actually might be that sort of sleeper awesome thing in Mist of Pandaria that most people don't realize is going to be as awesome as it will. So the idea is you've got all these different dungeons in Mist of Pandaria, and you'll have a challenge mode, which is basically a time attack. So you're trying to get through the dungeon as fast as you can. And there will be bronze, silver, and gold medals for getting through it at a certain pace. And then, of course, you get cool loot for doing it as fast as you possibly can. Uh, but then, of course, Eldorian was asking, well, what happens if you have people that are at cap and have this really crazy high-level raid gear going in there? You know, they're just going to be able to breeze through it. Well, it ends up they're going to cap your gear when you go in there. So even if you come in with really amazing gear, it's actually going to sort of level down the gear so you're at that level playing field to you know, keep the challenge fresh and alive. Uh, so that's, that's really nice. And then, of course, Eldorian had to ask, well, what about all these other dungeons? in World of Warcraft, non Mr. Pandaria. I mean, there's scores of other dungeons, and you know, a lot of these just don't get played that much anymore. And they did, and Ghost Crawler did say, if these are successful, if they're popular, if people really enjoy the challenge modes, they will absolutely go back and add challenge modes to all the other dungeons, which really could add a lot of depth of play, just so much more to do, a reason to go back to some of these dungeons that you haven't played in months or years. Uh, a reason to go back and, and have a challenge once again, no matter how powerful you are. So that's really, really cool stuff. So keep an eye out for those. So we're going to finish with a question. Now, first off, we already said, you know, you got some questions for our interviews at the Midnight Launch events. Throw those down in the comments. But we've got some actual questions that we're going to feature, of course, the best ones on next week's show. So we want to know, how are you preparing for Mr. Pandaria? Stocking up on Mountain Dew and Cheetos? All right, taking some days off work. Uh, you're going to tell your family that you're just not going to exist for a couple of weeks. Let us know. Put some snarky stuff down in the comments, and we'll feature the best stuff on next week's show. And while you're on YouTube, why don't you check out the Bearded Gamer Show? All kinds of awesome beardy goodness. Lots of Wii U stuff going on on my channel right now. And, of course, go to blizzplanet.com. All the news, reviews, great community, everything you need to know about Blizzard Entertainment Games. We'll see you next time.